Okay. We're going to convert between units here. So we're going to go from one prefix units to another prefix units, from kilometers to millimeters. So in order to go from kilometers to millimeters, what do you guys think you have to do first? Kilometers to what? Convert kilometers to meters, and then, then meters to millimeters. So when we're going from when we're converting, when converting from one prefix to another, go to the base first. Thank you. Built in spell check. I like that, John. So, when converting from one prefix to another, go to the base first. I just thought it would be a good idea to have a board, a whiteboard, that would do spell check. You could have like a handwriting recognition to do spell check. Then you guys probably won't be able to see my notes because there'd be so many red lines everywhere. All right. So, when converting from one prefix to another, go to the base first. Now, there are some of you that might not need to go to the base first, but I'm not that smart, so I have to go to the base first. Okay? All right, that's just the way it makes it work. And right, then I know I'm not wrong. So here I'm going from 0.25 kilometers into millimeters, right? 0.25 kilometers into millimeters. So what's the base? Meters. So I'm going to go to meters first and then back to millimeters. So how many equals, how many equals equations am I going to need? Two. Two. Okay. Kilometers to meters. Look on page six, we know one kilometer equals how many meters? A thousand, right? Or one times ten to the negative third, oh, not negative third, sorry. One times ten to the third meters, right? I got that from my chart, because on my chart it says kilo is ten to the third, right? So I know the prefix kilo means ten to the third, right? Does that make sense? Now, after I go from kilometers to meters, I'm going to go from what to what? Meters to millimeters, right? So now I need to know my conversion from millimeters. So I know it's 1 and 1 times 10 to the negative third, right? Which one's the millimeter, which one's the meter? One millimeter, good. And... 10 to the third meters. Because it's 10 to the negative third, that means milli, doesn't it? Right? So it's like I'm writing the exact same thing, except here I have the numbers, and here I have the letter that corresponds to it. Right? Does that make sense? That's an easy way to, make, that's an easy way to uh, make sure you do it right every time. If you're using that table on page 6, or the table I'm going to print out tomorrow, hopefully, keep my fingers crossed, and give it to you guys, all right? it tells you that kilo corresponds to 10 to the third. So that means if I have kilo here on my prefix unit, I have 10 to the third on my base unit. Okay? That table also says milli corresponds to 10 to the negative third. So if I have milli on my prefix, I have 10 to the negative third on my base. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. So how is this different than what we did yesterday? There's one big difference so far. What's that? Instead of 1 equals we have... Instead of one equals, we have two. So now I want to convert. So how many fraction bars am I going to need? Yesterday I only needed one, right? How many do I need today? Two. Okay, one, two. Okay. So for this first conversion, oh, I forgot my kilometer. Can make this difficult. For my first conversion, what do I want? We'll go kilometers to meters. So what do I want? I want meters, right? So where does meters go? Times ten to the third meters. So my meters goes on top. What goes on bottom? What goes on bottom? Kilometers, right? Because that's what I don't want. So I want kilometer goes on bottom. So I cancel out my kilometers, right? Right? 
And then my second conversion factor. I like that time to run. In my second conversion factor, what one do I want to end with? Millimeters. Millimeters. So where does that go? On top. And what am I trying to get rid of? The meter. So where does that go? Bottom. And bottom. Now these meters cancel, right? Will I end up in millimeters? Will I end up in millimeters? Yeah, I got millimeters on top, don't I? So a good way to make sure you have your fraction set up before you go through and actually multiply is cancel things out. Kilometers cancel here. Meters cancel here. I'm left in millimeters, which is what I want. Right? You guys with me? Okay. So now this equals 0.25 times 10 to the third, right? Right? Divide by 1. Does that change anything? No. Okay. Now this is on bottom. If it's negative and it's on bottom, when it comes to the top, it becomes what? Positive. Right? So it's like I have... 0.25, and if you have a calculator, it's easy to do this all in one step, times 10 to the third, times 10 to the third, right? So what happens with those threes? They add together. So I end up with 0.25 times 10 to the sixth, and that'll be... Millimeters. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Now, if you have your calculator, it's easier. So, if you want to get your calculator, you can. Oh, wait, no, 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 in a second. I don't mind doing the head. And your head's easy, too. All right. Any questions about how I did that one? Any questions? Michael. So, why is that uh, negative 3 turned into a positive? Because. We're dividing by the exponent. When you divide by the exponent, when it goes to the top, it switches to positive, right? Yeah. Right? Because number negative 3 means I'm dividing by 10. Uh, right? Yeah. means I'm dividing by 10 three times. So if I, divide by, by, if I divide by dividing by 10, those two divisions cancel each other out. It makes a oh, multi multiply, right? Yeah. Okay. Good question. Anything else? No? OK. So here's the next one, 200 micro to milli, right? 200 micro to milli. So if I'm going from microliters to milliliters, what do I have to go to first? Liters, good. Okay. So what's the conversion for micro and liters? Is it negative six? Sorry, I got excited. I wrote down too fast. So, but where's the micro and where's the liter go? Oh, that, we're not there yet. In the, in the equals, where's the micro and where's the milli go? Or where's the micro and where's the liter go? Micro goes on the one side of the scale. Okay, good. The micro goes to the one, right? So that means the liter goes over here, doesn't it? Because this 10 to the negative 6, this means micro, doesn't it? These two things are the same. If I had them both on the same side, it'd be redundant. Okay? All right. What's my other conversion? What's my other conversion? So I'm going from micro to liters. Then where? Liters to milliliters. Good. So I know it's one, and what's, what's my uh, power per milli? Negative three, right? So which one gets the milli? The one or the, or the ten to the negative three? Which one gets the milli? I mean, which one gets the milli? The one, perfect. So which one gets the ten to the negative three, Tony? The leaders, right? Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Yes, Kim? How is it negative 3? Because a milli is less than a liter. Right? 
Right, so we're, we're not going to ones that are bigger than our base units. Right? We're both staying below our base unit. Okay, does that make sense? Like in this one, we went from we went from a positive power through our base to a negative power, right? This one we're going from a negative power to our base and back to a negative power. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so I have 200 micros, I want to figure out how many millis that is. So I start with 200 micros. How many fraction bars do I need? Two. Right? That first fraction bar is this part. Right? What goes on top? What goes on top? What I want. What I want, Kevin? Yep. Leaders, right? So which part of these goes on top? The second one, right? So I want leaders, so 1 times 10 to the negative 6 goes on top. So then what I don't want, micro, goes on bottom. Right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense, guys? Derek with me? Okay. Okay. Next fraction bar. What goes on top? Nakira, what goes on top? One milliliter. Good. And what goes on bottom? Victor. Good. And now I can check my work to make sure everything I don't want cancels. And what I do want is left, right? So will my micros cancel? That will my, will my micros cancel? Yeah. Yeah, the micros will cancel. Richard, will, will my leaders cancel? Yes. Yeah, my leaders will cancel. So I, am I left with milliliters like I want? Am I left with milliliters like I want? Yeah. Okay. So I have 200 times 1 times 10 to the negative 6, right? Divided by 1 times 10 to the negative 3rd. So what's going to happen? It's like negative 6, right? Minus a negative 3. Right? What's negative 6 minus a negative 3? Not negative 9. Oh. Negative 3, right? So it's like I have 200 times 10 to the negative 3 milliliters. I have 200 times 10 to the negative third milliliters. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? Yeah. Can I rewrite that anyway? Okay. Negative 3 means I move this which way? Move my decimal which way? Left. Left. So 1, 2, 3. So it's really 0.2. Milliliters. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Does that seem simple enough? Okay. Okay, let's practice.